hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm showing how we can change the ip address of our computer in one click which is automatically we can change our ip address without going to the network configurations first of all just search on google or yahoo netsetman it's a software it's a free software for personal use and the website is netsetman.com slash en slash freeware so on the right side you can see the download Nets setman option and uh, remember there is a paid version as well but for personal use you can use it for free so click on Netsetman and run Uh, the installation is very simple like installing a normal software accept the agreement click on next Actually, I have already a netset man installation. So it's why it, that's why it's asking for update For you. It will be install option. Just proceed with the next option. Nothing to change go with the default option um, Let it install in my case, it's gonna be updating the existing version for in your case it will be uh, installing that now let's launch let's finish the installation and launch the netsetman software so um, our window has opened netsetman window has opened here on the bottom you can see netsetman logo and this is the software interface this is how it look like and even you can search in uh, start for netsetman it will show in the programs list click on it so now we will discuss how we can configure our network automatically so you have a couple of options like for sure there will be default dhcp option for this uh, purpose i am assigning dhcp on my local area connection presently i don't have any connection physical connection on my um, ethernet interface or local area connection but uh, i'm just for tutorial purpose i'm just assigning a dhcp on a local area connection and this is how you can uh, do the dhcp you click on ip and gateway first of all you need to choose the Ethernet interface interface like local area connection after that you will go with the Configure IP address automatically and click activate so it will automatically Activate the DHCP I'll Just ignore this message Okay, it's trying to configure the IP address automatic IP address, you know Actually, there is no Ethernet interface connected now. That's why it's uh, taking this much time. Now let's um, see where is the what is the IP configured on it. Just double click on it. Properties. Go to uh, IPv4 settings, and you can see that obtain IP address automatically settings is there. Obtain DNS server address automatically. Options are chosen already so um, it's already on dhcp just let me check if it can if it has taken the a um, i have a lot of <laughs> interfaces i'm not able to see which one is my ethernet um, because i know i have i'm running vmware on this one and a lot of virtual interfaces there okay uh, forget about that now let's um do another experiment like for example i have an ip on um, on the interface you can see that for network something that i have written there uh, just activated this on uh, local ethernet connection and checking if it's taken the ip or not mm. okay let's close the cmd for now and uh, let me check it in the adapters connection just double click on it properties right click on its properties and go to ip4 now you can see that the ip address that was there in netsetman is configured here 
so it was very easy i already have configured the given the ip here now next time you can just click on activate for dhcp and if you want to switch to phone network or whatever network you can just search on it one now i let me do it for wireless now you can see that my wireless network is zero dot network and now uh, just uh, let me ping one of the free IP in my Wi-Fi zero reference gateway zero dot ten okay I don't have any reply from zero dot ten so I will be assigning a static IP which is coming under the uh, our DHCP range so just let me go to the internal option and choose the wireless network connection as the interface and let me choose one IP address that we tested. Uh, subnet mask is same. 24. Default gateway is 0 0.1. DNS server. Let me put Google. And uh, alternate 1.1.1.1. .1 That's all. And just click on activate. Let's see what's going to happen. So this is configuring a static IP for wireless interface you can use any interface and you can uh, assign any IP for your network so uh, let me let's wait for a few seconds so that it will connect to the wireless network connection again but before that let us check the IP address that is configured you can see that 0 0.10 is configured already and all the corresponding settings that we have given is configured and it is successfully connected to the wireless network as well so this is how you can um, switch between the network very easily guys so this software it is very useful for me and for IT administrators even for even if you have different network on your home it will be very helpful so just let me search google.com whether I can check the connection is there yeah so I have I'm browsing the internet using the static IP that I have configured using the net set man so it is very helpful guys I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification uh, goodbye guys take care bye bye